When STL models are added to Blue Sky Plan, it's important to confirm that they follow the same general orientation as the head in the bottom left, meaning the head is facing forward, so when the models are imported, they should be facing forward as well. I would like to address two different situations. One is when the, the models are in proper occlusion, but they're not oriented the same way as the head, and the second, when the models are not in occlusion at all. Let's take a look at the first situation. I'm going to drag in a new set of models into Blue Sky Plan. And we can see that the models are facing to the side and don't follow the orientation of the head in the bottom left. When you drag STL model surfaces into Blue Sky Plan, the model manipulation panel opens automatically. What we're going to do is we're going to select one of the models and we're going to click Adjust Model Position manually. Now we have a widget that allows us to rotate the model in any direction. So we're going to grab and drag using our left mouse button the widget and we're going to orient the model correctly to match the general orientation of the face in the bottom left. Once we've done it for one model, updating the remaining models is very quick. You select the second model, click Align to Model, make sure you're aligning it to the model that you've previously that you've previously moved. Do not check the checkbox align using points and then press OK. The second model has now been updated and we're going to do it for the third model that we have here. We're going to click Align to Model, select the first model, and now we have all three models. They maintained their positioning in relationship to each other and now they're aligned to match the head in the bottom left. Now we're going to the panel drop down, select our buckle bite registration, and we're going to import the buckle bite in order to properly orient the models in occlusion. First we confirm that the maxilla is defined as the correct upper model, the mandible is defined as the correct lower model, and then we click add buckle bite. In our situation we're importing a centric buckle bite, so we have centric selected, and then we click import. We're going to select the correct bite registration, click OK, and then we click OK. We can now see that the models are now in the proper orientation and in the proper occlusion.